Hey guys, my name is Cineyak and welcome back to another episode of World Town. Don't worry, it's not an actual episode, so to speak. Uh, last episode, we finally ended the series. It was only meant to be a short series, but it went on for quite some time as we found new stuff to add in to the beautiful nation of oil town i asked you guys in that last episode the final episode whether you wanted the actual um save game file if you wanted me to upload it to the steam workshop and it was pretty much unanimous so like yo boy Seniac, give me that save game right now and uh that's pretty much what this video is all about i'm gonna show you how to get it uh give you the links and we're just gonna go through and reminisce over Oil Town. I want to show you a few little bits and bobs that you'll probably find out when you actually load the save game up. And I also want to talk about the process of loading it up because it not only is it crammed filled with mods, I've I've kind of pushed the boundaries of what a normal city is capable in City Skylines. So if you feel like the game's not loading, well, I'll explain it in all in just a moment. So, first things first, guys. Look in the description, you'll see two links. One of them is the actual save game, one of them is to the mod list. Now, the save game takes you straight to it on the Steam Workshop, as you can see right now. Uh, just literally subscribe to it, it'll be a save game, load it up. And you're gonna need as well, the second link in the description is the mod list, but I've kind of added it to the description of Oil Town on the Steam Workshop as well. Also get that. That is not only the mods for Oil Town, but it also includes all the mods that I use in general. So it's always kind of handy to have anyway. If there's anything that you don't have, I mean, you might be subscri you know, subscribed to pretty much half of it anyway, but it's pretty much all there. So that's the Oil Town save game. This is the mod list right now. There is so much stuff inside of it. Uh, enjoy. But get that. When you load it up, just be patient. There is so much stuff going on in Oil Town right now, it takes forever and a day to load so you feel like you're waiting like 10 15 minutes for the, the save game to load that's normal that's why i have to go through every freaking episode uh it is quite annoying but let's take a look and let's reminisce of this gloriousness so we're gonna reminisce then we'll go through all the little secret stuff that you don't really know about because i kind of kept it a secret just to kind of keep all time running and we'll go through all the statistics as well and pretty much see where we currently are so we all started guys number when this was just an island there was no sticky out bits as we like to call there was no freaking usa right now because i kept that a secret for like how many episodes holy moly and there was no racetrack as well how random is that but it all started with this freaking little harbor right now and your boy charles phillips who we named the park after him was our first settler to this great nation our founding father who has pretty much carved the way or carved the path or paved the way whatever you want to, whatever, whatever saying you want to use uh to what we have created in this wonderful wonderful kingdom it pretty much i don't even remember guys it pretty much all started with low density and we eventually built it up to what it is. And obviously what kept us all running was Oil Town Corp. It was the main hub of business. The thing that made us the most amount of money. Which made us like gazillionaires. Even though we've been losing more money than we are making recently. It's what kept us afloat. And Oil uh, Town Corp these days is making... It averages around 300,000 give or take um, a week. Which is kind of ridiculous ridiculous we've actually pumped out now look at that there's one two three one two five point seven million units of oil that is ridiculous that really is ridiculous isn't it and uh, even after pumping all those out we're still importing oil which i still find hilarious <laughs> i really really do um it, it is kind of crazy look at that we're doing 1500 barrels a week uh, of oil pumping out and something's going to petroleum some to plastic some that's been raw exports but it is freaking ridiculous we have over seven thousand workers there and it's what's really given us the money to kind of go crazy uh to what we've done right now um it is it is kind of ridiculous it is too ott if you ask me it's kind of like a loose version of like uh fish town what we're doing right now is like you know the whole place is built in the fishing industry 
We'll see how long that one lasts anyway. But as always, guys, um, when one series ends like this, another one is soon to begin. So if you've got any suggestions or kind of scenarios you think will be really good for a new series, let me know in the comment section down below. I've got a few ideas, but I want to see what you guys have got. I want to see if I can get some inspiration from you, which will be amazing. But not only did we build that, we had number all the troubles we had with trying to export the goods. Because it's an industry based on cargo, we had to try and get it all out. And because we were an island, the only way that we could really officially, well not officially, the only way we could actually do it at the start, because we were kind of a little bit strapped for cash, was by ships. And it extended to the point where, I mean, we've got tons of ships right now, but to the point where we had, um, like, ship jams. I've never had that before in my life, where we had traffic jams on water, which is kind of crazy. And then we implemented these cargo hub airports right now, which actually didn't kind of solve many issues They still all decided that they want to go to the shipping ports, which is understandable The only thing that these have been beneficial for is when we eventually hooked up all the trains that intertwined around oil town corp uh, Even a, a lot of them still do, do go to the docks so You get the odd one or two like this one over here that does come over uh, to the airport right now and does get rid of it. There's another one just there as well. So it does have it perks. It has little benefits, but really it's been a fighting battle trying to get goods out of Oil Town Corp. So if you do get a save game, good luck. Good luck right now. We get this little bit extra section over here, which is pumping oil from the sea, which went down pretty good. And over here we had traffic issues as well. I think the more we grew and expanded it, we kind of reached the vehicle limit when we started building USA and visually traffic is not as bad as it kind of seems because uh we've hit those limits well I, at least i think we have because i can't really fast forward it that much i mean the population is over 130,000, which again ridiculous and then we kind of decided that you know we are at Yak, boy we're gonna build a custom airport it took a couple of episodes to kind of get this right because it was all custom made and I need to make sure that all the planes are landing perfectly but i couldn't have asked for anything better right now it it works absolute wonders this airport it is really really good and also we have our little beautiful beach which these boats here don't render in from a distance you get so far around it always looks like that one has been sunk under the water and you get a little bit closer and it's all good but it is weird but a little beautiful little strip of paradise in this um polluted corrupt island we got our beautiful little zoo which i always thought looked like a castle uh, but there we go. And this is where we bought our secondary um, export area, which I thought would kind of help the burden or, like, you know, ease the burden of this side taking up so much slack. But no. It doesn't matter how many export areas I put down, it never helped. If anything, it made it worse because I was able to sh ship more stuff. But the time eventually came, guys, where I released the news that there was an island... Well, it wasn't really an island. A little bit of land in the corner, which was the USA. Now, I originally kind of set this up for something that we could... Um, well, the real reason for this was is because this had all the land, like, edge of region connections. It had the highways and it had the trains. So forget what it is, the USA. It was mainly a way for me to get the goods. Because I was struggling so bad uh, with exporting the cargo by boats, that's literally where the idea of the USA came from. I was shipping... Well, yeah, I was shipping cargo by ships and planes and it wasn't really going too well I couldn't keep up with the demand so I thought I'm so desperate I need them to be able to drive the cargo out of the region via trucks and vehicles And I also need to be able to push them out by trains It gives me two additional routes to what you would normally have in any city that you build Which is where the idea of the USA came from It was just really to provide that road connection and that train connection to the edge of a region uh, but it was a quite a good little bit of inspiration to kind of play off it uh, to build up the USA and it then it became a really good way of like you know trading because then the ships would dock over at the USA get the goods in the road on the trains and take them out so it all kind of complemented each other and worked really well the only downside become when I decided yo Sidiac you need to populate the USA like crazy now and it needs to overpopulate it to kind of make it feel a little bit more superior to oil town and by doing that creates its own issues. I mean, we have all that traffic to deal with. We have all the, the cargo to deal with, the industry and all that kind of stuff. It, it brought its own problems alongside the problems that we had within Oil Town anyway, 
which those problems were, were kind of crazy already. And then I made the uh, the decision to kind of connect them up. Now, it was originally I connected them up by... Um, actually, the original connection was blimps, wasn't it? And I've since replaced the blimps with helicopters because, one, they're a little bit faster. And I don't know if they carry more. I can't remember. But I think it was just, you know, because it looked a little bit nicer, to be honest with you. And then we did the train line uh, to get all the cargo shipping out. And then I decided to do that underground tunnel, which, which you can see there. That, I reckon, was a, bit, a good... 15 episodes where I was trying to get the traffic to work around here and even to this point it's not perfect but it's a lot better than than it ever has been so that was kind of crazy and then what made it even more difficult was the fact that if I go to our um, zones right now we had, we had the two industry areas over here that's the only place where I put industry um well I, I put it there eventually but like in oil town in general because uh, we couldn't keep up with the general demand anyway. And that also wanted to export. I was using this port to bring goods in to take out. But what I didn't kind of count for is any initial port in here was also going to be bringing goods into the ships. So it was like I was bringing goods in and taking goods out. And the traffic fighting against each other was shocking. And that's where my biggest downfall became. But we made sure we did all the highways pretty good as well. I'm actually really proud of the kind of underpass and the overpass highways in the USA. I'm not saying it's my finest work, but I really love the um, the kind of junctions here, the interchanges and the, the turnoffs that we created, which really did inspire a lot of the stuff in Full Topia that we've done to this point, which I think is really cool. Uh, some different, some similar. I like the overpasses we get here. They kind of go over the uh, uh, the highway just there. Which I think was really good. It really gave it that downtown vibe. And I'm so glad they eventually turned this into one big roundabout. I mean, granted, we do get a bit of traffic here, there, and everywhere. But overall, it ain't too shabby, boys. It ain't too shabby right now. Uh, which is pretty damn dope. Made sure we had all the... Uh, I think I don't think I've ever built like a city or a game where I placed in so many of the the land... Not the landmarks. The kind of... What are they called now? The unique buildings. That's it. I think I placed nearly everything in here, which is kind of crazy. We have some issues over here. Are you guys okay? Are you waiting for garbage stuff? I'm surprised no, no, no garbage things came over and sorted you out, mate. Same with police. It's weird why no one's gone over there just yet. <laughs> but it's not my problem anymore. Uh, we built the golf course, which at one point got flooded. And for about five episodes, we didn't have a golf course. And they eventually got it all back in, which was uh, pretty good. And uh, we turned it into a, uh, a city park, which is a way to kind of make actual people come over here. Because nobody really wants to come over here, to be honest with you, did they? But we turn into a little city park, which means now we get people walking around and stuff like that. I say that as I zoom in and there's nobody walking around. Ah, there's one person there. And... Nobody else, Zodiac. Shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking. Uh, the University of Full Turbo was a good one as well, because that was the one uh, where I really started to push the boundaries and it came to where I was willing to place land reclamation islands because this was literally the only option was to build a tunnel straight through which uh actually turned out pretty well and as a university as a, as a overhaul um oh we don't have enough students we're about to lose our prestigious rank i wonder why so many students have decided to like jump ship it's not because I think recently I added in some universities over here, some generic universities, and I think they're all jumping to those ones rather than just the normal campus, which shows you that a lot of the, well, the uni Oil Town University relies on a lot of USA students, which is, that's very interesting. That really is very, very interesting right now. We had a little national park just up here, which uh, I thought was pretty cool. It was quite a stretch to get it up here. But we managed it. People love climbing it anyway, as you can see. They really love that. 
I think it's pretty dope as well. But let's take a look at some of the statistics and the stats, all the little bits and bobs and jazz. So as an overall right now, we have a population as 130,000. We have... Um, we can have a, we can actually have up to forty four thousand different households, but we actually have thirty eight thousand different households. Uh, we can have a potential of sixty five thousand workers. We have got sixty one thousand workers, and we're currently getting one thousand five hundred tourists a week, which they all want to come and see the natural wonder that is a country built off oil. Uh, the biggest population, the biggest demographic in terms of um, peeps is it actually is adults only by like 400 more compared to seniors but adults and seniors are our biggest population slice which is crazy it really is like we got a lot of oldies in oil town right now and we have over half of all zoning is residential and the city of attractiveness uh, average land value is 89 dollars a square meter nice 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 so when it comes to the power we got tons of it, mate. When it comes to the water, not so great. Not so great. Garbage, not so great. So we still got plenty of issues here and everywhere. But, you know, if you want to play this and want to kind of expand from it and keep continue working on it, at least you got stuff to do that you can focus on and little challenges. Like, schooling's not great. University's not really all there. Um, public library, not many people use it. But hey-ho. Overall, everyone's happy. Not as much uh, the commercial peeps. So... You know, hey ho. <laughs> Healthcare is pretty good. It's seventy three percent. Death care. Wait, cemetery usage fifty percent. Buried twenty thousand. Do we actually have cemeteries? Rents crematorium. I didn't know we had cemeteries, or at least I forgot we did. Oh, it's all over here, isn't it? Yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> childcare. I don't think we placed in any childcare or elderly care. Uh, clerk, elderly care in Oil Town in the USA. That's something that we never got around to doing. Uh, these are the just generic levels right now. Uh, the darker it is, the more they've leveled up. And we have quite a lot of that. Um, wind. If you're ever interested where the wind comes from. There's a lot actually on the um, the racetrack there of that little peninsula bit. That's because we got a nice little gulf of water going into it. Uh, traffic, which is being the biggest one of the biggest issues in Oil Town, full stop. But even the dark red bits, it's not gridlock. It's still moving, so it's not too bad. Look at the vehicles and see this is the stuff that you never normally see because you never really go in underground mode unless I'm trying to build a road. At that point, I'm always in underground mode for some reason. But you can see it all flowing through. You can see some of the hot points right now. It's just this roundabout just there, which is uh, all nice and clear. This little section just there. So it is slightly backlogged a little bit. You probably need to work on that junction a little bit better. Uh, but it's not too shabby. I mean, it's 76% average flow, so that's pretty good. Uh, pollution, this is where all the pollution is coming from, which is quite surprising considering this whole place is oil. But we did get the Eden Project, which does reduce it, which is a good sign. Uh, noise pollution, again, it's all it's all the usual suspects. Fire safety is fire hazard 29% because it's all oil. Crime is at 13%. Uh, transport, there is more people using the subway system than anything. Then come next then is the trams uh, and then the buses. And it's a very close battle between the, between the trains and the boats. Hmm. Population. We kind of just seen this anyway. Our biggest slice is the adults. Oh, I think a couple of seniors are dying. But it definitely is more births than deaths. And the unemployment's at 3%. That is low. Uh, these are our outside connections, which only really take place over here. Um, import. We're importing more agricultural like farming stuff because we don't have any farming whatsoever in oil town and uh i about to say the smallest slice the smallest technical slice is oil but it is goods <laughs> and uh, oh no mail we have it's a tiny just little sliver of mail but in terms of the four industries oil is the smallest one because we are creating quite a lot of it uh, land value then so the brighter the green, the more valuable. You can see around the oil industry, it goes slightly darker. 
Where's the worst one? It's around the, the space elevator just over there. Unless there's something over here a little bit lower. Yeah, oh, the recycling plant there as well. See, it's it's more valuable to live near the airport, like on the runway, than it is to buy that little garbage plant, which I find hilarious. <laughs> Natural resources? Damn, boy. That's a lot of resources. And we're only really extracting oil anyway. So here's our zones, our districts. We have all the ledger stuff right now, which we've, yeah, got so much of it in, which is crazy. I'm really impressed. We have the terrain heights as well, which is always a cool thing to look at. I always like how they're designed. Uh, but, see, I mean, you, you visually can see it anyway. Not too much to really kind of go mad about. Don't really have any heating. It's not a cold region. Road maintenance is something that we've never done or added in. So all the conditions of every single road is terrible at the moment. Uh, we have all the traffic routes, which to see those, you got to zoom in and click on something. But yeah, you see how it goes. Um, I wonder how many people are, uh, are using this and where they're coming from. I mean, they're coming from... Oh, some of them are coming all the way from the USA. Damn, boy. Uh, we have the tourists, which they do have a lot of tourist stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff within Oil Town itself and in the USA. So we got a good little spread of it. See, the attractiveness is 89%, which is good. Uh, a lot of tourists, quite a few exchange students as well, and there's more medium wealth to high wealth than low wealth, which is always good as well. Very happy with that. Never got any tours in, did we? No. That's something that we never did. Uh, part maintenance is... Uh, I don't think we ever did part maintenance as well, even though we've got the stuff boosted, but I think that all comes from the Eden Project. Industrial areas, I mean... Self-explanatory, right? Never did any mail stuff, and never did any fishing as well, even though these are all the fishing hotspots. We have the shellfish, we have the anchovies, and uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? There's a little bit of tuna just there, and the only thing that we're missing is a salmon. There's a little bit, there's a, there is a couple of regions for salmon just there and up here as well, so technically we do have everything. There's a really weird random anchovy patch over there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Hmm, very, oh, this, yeah, there's actually a bit of salmon just there as well, so you can, get, you can get a nice little spread of stuff, but it's mainly, you know, anchovies and shellfish anyway, that you're pretty much picking up. But what I'd like to ask you guys anyway, if you do do anything within Oil Town, if you do change it, if you do continue to play it and do some vast improvements, please, if it's even if you make a video, or you just have some screenshots or whatever it may be, Make sure you send it to me on Twitter or in my Discord. I would love to check them out to see what you guys have been getting up to. And if there's quite a few people that do kind of play around with it and do add some stuff, I might do a little compilation video where I check out everybody's city and what they've added extra to Oil Town. You can either fix it, improve it, destroy it. I don't know. You can do whatever you want, guys. Just check out those links there below. But, guys, I want to say thank you all for watching this series and showing it some, some, some beautiful support if you have enjoyed it guys please smash that like button down below if you're hyped for what's going to be about to replace it then please smash that like button subscribe if you're new and until next time i'll see you all soon so good Bye.